Hey, this is Jones from Jonesy TV coming at you with a review for The Flash Season 2, Episode 22, Invincible. Basically, in this episode, we see the metahuman threat of all those metahumans be wrapped up way too quickly. And that was one of my the problems I had with this episode. I expected going into this episode to see Barry Allen fighting all these different metahumans, and it was a letdown. And that was really a poor way to start off the episode, but the episode really got itself back together. It's funny because sometimes seasons of shows are like that. You know, the first few episodes are bad, and then it'll... Uh, kick it in high gear and get good, but I mean, it was sort of like that all wrapped into an episode, you know, that the episode started off really shaky, but then it kind of found its footing uh, towards the middle and towards the end, so the main villain we had to deal with this episode was Black Siren, and she is, of course, the Earth 2 version of the Black Canary, played by Katie Cassidy, and it was cool to see her uh, as an actress back in uh, the DC TV universe, considering she was killed off in Arrow, and she actually did an amazing job acting as the Black Siren here. She was a really cool villain of the week, and her cry was cool. It wasn't like lame like the canary cry. And she, uh, it was interesting to see Cisco and Caitlin dress up as uh, um, Vibe and uh, or Reverb and Killer Frost again, and see them try to you know act like them and fail completely to try to convince her to be on their side. But. Um, well, actually, I do believe they convinced her to be on the side for them all to fight Zoom, but uh, her, Caitlin, was very cool in this episode, too, because we saw that uh, she got over her problems, and she got over her fears about Zoom, uh, and really became part of the team again after being out for a few weeks, you know, especially last week when she was kidnapped by Zoom. It was a very crazy situation, and it shows that uh, her character... Uh, Caitlin, uh, Daniel Pennebaker's portrayal of her, uh, it's really nice because it can go from very emotionally weak to very emotionally strong from week to week and it can be believable. Uh, Barry's arc in this episode was a little bit wishy-washy for me. I understand that he had gotten the speed back and from the speed force, but uh, at, I, guess, I guess it served his purpose because he was too gun-ho to fight Zoom and Zoom killed Henry Allen at the end of this episode, and it was, it was jarring, you know, this episode did not start out strong, like I said, but it ended on a very strong note, and really led me into the finals warning to see what happened, because uh, Henry, Henry Allen died, and the one complaint I would have with his death is he did not, uh, he just, the, the effect, usually you want to have a death a little bit before the end of the episode, so a lot of people are, you know, like, whoa, what just happened? But there wasn't even time to process it, which I found kind of annoying because I was just like, oh, well, now it's the episode's over. He died. It wasn't like, oh, he's dead. We have a few more scenes for me to think about it, and then we move on. So it was sort of abrupt. But overall, I did enjoy this episode. I'd have to give it a 7.5 out of 10, which is bad for a penultimate episode, but it was it was overall it was enjoyable, but there were problems with it. So I hope you've enjoyed my review for episode twenty one of the Flash Season Two Invincible. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. This has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV bringing you the review, signing off.